up, TJ? For the last time this week, it's Ryan and Ryder. You heard about this earlier in the week, but the Hispanic and Latino Club will be hosting an event for seniors. For all seniors who have not had a chance to, now you can paint your pants or overalls. This event will be held next Wednesday in Miss Valencia Hernandez's room in 218. Bring your unpainted pants or overalls and they will supply the paint and brushes. Also, TJ Seniors, if you already painted your pants or overalls, would you consider donating your leftover paint and brushes? Teachers and students, if you have any other supplies that our club could use to decorate pants and overalls, please bring them to Miss V's room in 218. Now, let's take Checking. it to news and admin. Hey there, TJ. In today's news, a Texas police officer wrangled an alligator on a family's front porch with his bare hands. Uh, that's something. Anyways, in other news, there was a red chili pepper spill on a highway and that had a massive beehive inside the container. Hopefully everyone was safe. Well, thanks, TJ. That's it from us. See ya, TJ. What's up, TJ? It's Evelyn, back with the weather for the final time this week. So today there is a high of 87 degrees and a low of 54. It's currently around 67 degrees and it will be sunny all day. Thanks, TJ. Bye. Good morning, TJ. It's Mr. Scari. Happy Friday. Got a couple of quick announcements for you. Number one, um, seniors who are maybe still par uh, painting their parking spots, do not leave paint sitting out in the parking lot, please. When you're done painting, pack it up and take it with you. Do not leave it there. Um, also, homecoming's coming up at the end of September. If you want to attend, you better have good attendance and good behavior. All right, so I'm expecting 93% attendance and uh, a clean behavior record. Otherwise, you're gonna get uh, have to get my permission to go buy a prom ticket or a homecoming ticket. Also, uh, when you order food, let's all respect each other's food. It's all sitting out front. That does not mean it's free for anybody. There's also a security camera right on top of it. So maybe leave it alone and don't be a dirt ball. All right. Also, um, out in the neighborhood, stay out of people's yards. Okay, that's trespassing. Let's be good neighbors. You're representing TJ and your family. Make sure you're representing them well. And to the little lawyer who tried to talk to our police officer, he is allowed to tell you to stop trespassing. It's his job. All right. And no skateboarding inside. That's all, TJ. Have a great Friday. Be nice to each other. Hi Spartans, my personal friend showed me this picture in a text message. If these items belong to you, an iPad, it looks like an ID holder and a lanyard um, and uh, something else, it, oh, a wallet. There was no ID in the wallet. If this is your stuff, come see me in room seven or see me in the halls and we'll see what we can do to get your items back to you, okay? Thanks, TJ. Good morning, Good morning TJ. TJ. It's your closing anchors, Leslie and Dylan. It's an exciting time at the start of a new school year. Make sure you get involved with our new Spartan time on Mondays. Remember, we will be holding Semester 1 Club Fair on Wednesday during both lunches. What is a club fair, you are wondering? Well, it is a chance for you to see all the different clubs that we offer here at TJ and that you would like to join. That's right, during both 4th and 5th period next Wednesday, our clubs will be set up for you to see all and ask questions. Make sure you plan on stopping by. Let's send it to the sports, sports and student groups. Hey TJ, it's Zion. And Simon. Coming back as your sports anchors for the last time this week. It's been totally tubular broski. Yesterday softball beat Rangeview absolute blowout, 15 to 0. And we usually don't report on JV, but it started off crazy, dude. They beat Niwa 52 to 6, bruh. Volleyball also has a tournament today and tomorrow at Gold Crown, starting tournament against Chapel today at 2. And football, Varsity has a game against Niwa on Saturday. Let's send it to the halls. Hey, hey TJ. TJ! This is girls volleyball. We have a tournament today at Gold Crown. JV plays at 2 and 4. Varsity plays at 1 and 4.30. And we also play tomorrow. Thanks TJ! Wish you girls luck in the halls! <laughs> hey TJ, who are we here with today? Uh, we're with Luke. Nice. And what sport do you play? Uh, I play football. Nice. I heard you guys have a game soon. Yeah, we got a game Saturday up at Niwot versus Niwot. Uh, it's at 1 p.m., so show out if you can. If not, support you guys in the hallway. Hey, TJ. Happy Friday. Emily Bobrick, your career navigator here. I have an internship opportunity open to any um, entrepreneurs, 
business minded folks. You will get to work with a local entrepreneur and uh, he owns a real estate company, was one of the founders of Build a Bear Workshop. So knows how to start a good scalable business. So if you want to learn how to do that, this is a great opportunity. Um, if you have a business idea, great. He can help you get that started. Um, if you just want to learn what that's like, also great. There is a quick turnaround on this because Denver Startup Week is coming up in a couple of weeks and he wants students to be involved in that. So applications will be due by midnight on Monday. They need to be in my uh, inbox on Tuesday. Interviews are on Wednesday and then hopefully you'll start that following week. So you can find this information in the TJ Career Hub and then these flyers will be in the bulletin board um, across from the cafeteria. That's the QR code for the um, application and you can also find that in the Career Hub. So hope to see some of your applications come through over the weekend. Thanks. Hi there. For those of you who know me, well, let's be honest, none of you actually know me. Uh, for those of you who think you know me, welcome back. For those of you who don't, welcome, right? Welcome to TJ, the land of milk and honey, the, the perfect place to experience high school, right? I just want to personally encourage you to take advantage of everything we do here at TJ. You can go out on any given day and catch a football game or flag football or soccer or volleyball or softball or, or whatever it may be. Tennis. Go out to a tennis match. There's so many things here. And if you're not into sports, we've got dance homecomings coming up and it's going to be awesome. Right. We've got a tailgate. We've got barbecues. We've got bonfires. All these cool things. Right. They're here for you. But if you don't take advantage of them then, you know, what's the high school experience about? And if there's anyone who can tell you about the high school experience, it's me. Because I know that I have people coming back to me 20 years later and saying, man, I wish I would have listened to you. And I just turn and look at them and I say, yeah, well, bag my fries and don't forget, you don't know Jack. Son. Amaya, did you hear about that new assignment Mr. Lehman gave us? Yeah, it's really giving me the collie wobbles. Collie wobbles, stomach pain or queasiness? What are you doing on your three day weekend? Uh, probably just going out with family and friends. Okay. Three day weekend. I'm hanging out with my friends, having fun. He's having fun. What are you doing on your three day weekend? Um, probably just work and sleep. Yes! Valid. What are you doing on a three-day weekend? Football, work, and barbecue. Sounds good. Yeah!